How's it going, guys? I am Connor from Running Warehouse. And this is Meg from Believe in the Run. And we are here in an undisclosed location off the coast of California. We've brought together some of your favorite shoe reviewers, and we are going to draft teams for what might be the battle of the century. You're right, Meg. This is going to be a tough challenge here today. Right behind us, we've got a treacherous hill, and the end goal is simple. Whichever team can make it up and down fastest will be declared the winner of the day. This race will be run relay race format, so there will be some strategy involved. Basically, the uphill is gonna challenge your team's endurance and strength. The downhill is all about nimbleness, technique, and really just staying on your feet. This is gonna test our influencers' running abilities, but only one team can lead the day as the ultimate champion with complete bragging rights. This, this is, is the Sand Dune Challenge. challenge. All right, Meg, it is time to pick teams. We've got a star-studded field in front of us, a lot of good-looking runners, and as the official winner of our last challenge, I will be taking the first pick, and it is an easy pick. We've got the fastest runner in the field. We've got David from Doctors of Running, 70-minute plus or minus in the half marathon, 14-minute 5K guy. He is the fastest runner in the field, D1 runner, easy pick. Get on up here, David. <laughs> All right, my first pick, this is super easy for me. He's a fellow teammate of Believe in the Run. He's the fastest guy in the office. He's also the youngest, so he's probably pretty reckless. I'm going with Brandon. Vote number two on my end. This is a little, little tough, but I've got the dark horse in the field, the fastest trail runner, the most experienced trail runner, the ultra marathon runner. We got Grace from Running Warehouse. Grace, get on up here. All right, my second pick has the widest feet in the world. He is super stable. He will be phenomenal on the downhills. I'm going with Jarrett. Now we've only got two contestants left and this is a tough battle because both have potential. Drew, he did well in our last challenge, but I got to give it to Emily. She's training for a half oh, Ironman. Nice. We got it, we got this. All right. Our final pick, we gotta go with Drew. He's 6'6", he's basically halfway up there. He's taking the uphill, let's go. All right, teams are chosen. Meg, we hand picked these teams, so there's no complaining on having not a strong enough team. We're gonna battle each other to the death. This is the Sand Dune Challenge. All right, team, we're looking strong, and I think for strategy today, David, we're gonna have you lead it off. You're the strongest okay. of the group. Sounds good. Good at running hills. I feel good about this. Going forward, it'd be good to have a handoff to you second so we can just keep driving up that hill. Yeah, you know, I've got a little bit of endurance right now. I'm feeling strong. I think we will crank up that hills and then it makes sense to hand off to our trail expert to crank that downhill. Grace, how you feel? I feel good. I think uh, I feel confident doing the start and then passing off to Emily to finish it off. Yeah, I'm gonna do the finishing kick, I think. I have determination and heart, so I'm hoping it takes me the distance and gets me to the finish line first. All right, team, you might be wondering what Caleb is doing here. It's because Brandon was reckless out on the beach. He got injured, so his replacement is now Caleb, who will be taking on the downhills. But we're gonna start today with me. I'm gonna hand it off to Drew. Great, great, I, uh, I got that uphill covered, I think. And then you're gonna hand it off to Jarrett. Yeah, I'll be at the top waiting for you to bring me that baton. So then I can, you know, my feet don't fail me now. Gotta get downhill, hand it off to Caleb. Do you so. wanna push after I hand you the baton? Like an extra push, like maybe like yeah. right around the hips? Extra momentum, yeah. Like I, I could, could cup your butt cheeks sure. and push you down. Whatever it takes to win. Okay, okay. all right, okay. good. But yeah, I'll finish up, you know, next man standing. Just gotta do what I can to bring it across the line. Are you ready, race fans? We've got Megan leading it off for the blue team, and we've got David leading it off for the purple team, and I haven't been this excited since the Save by the Bell reboot. And away they go. David getting out to the quick lead. He is the fastest runner in this group today, so not surprised to see this. Both runners struggling to get through this sand, and David, whose YouTube channel is Doctors of Running, is putting on a clinic so far as he opens up a nice lead. Megan from Believe in the Run, well, she's used to crushing marathons, but this sprint right now has her running just a tad faster than Windows 98. David reaches the handoff here first and 
team. Captain Connor takes it from there. The goat of Running Warehouse, and he's climbing faster than a Taylor Swift song on the charts. Megan finally reaching the handoff point here with Drew, and well, he's gonna need to move faster than a Running Warehouse two-day delivery if he's gonna catch up to Connor. Like Magellan, Drew is either plotting a new course here or just getting blown off course, not really sure. Those nearby offshore winds might be affecting him a little bit. This hill climb surprisingly lasting longer than most of Pete Davidson's relationships. Connor now reaching the summit and handing it off here to Grace, and she's gonna come flying past Drew, and she's gonna come flying down the hill too. She's dropping faster than most politicians' approval ratings as she hands it off here to Emily from Run Like Heller. Emily headed for the finish line, back up top. Drew has found Jared, and he may believe in the run, but right now he believes more in the butt slide. I hear 60% of the time that move works every time. Jared coming down the hill now faster than a spy balloon as he hands it off to Caleb, who's all hyped up on Mountain Dew and ready to come at Emily like a spider monkey. But it's not to be as Emily gets over the line first. And well, for the blue team, sorry guys, sometimes life's a beach. The battle of the century has come and gone, and just as I thought, Team Purple is not only the better looking of the squads, but we also came out with the victory. Meg, you trained for months. You trained with world-class coaching. Thomas is up there with the best, and you had a little last-minute substitute. You still came out with the L today. What's going on? Well, first of all, Connor, you got the first pick. You got the fastest guy out here. I had a team member who was reckless out there, injured himself before the race, and congratulations, you ran up a big hill. Also, it was hardly running. When did it become hiking warehouse? Okay, Drew, you know what? You don't have to put your problems on our team. We came out here fair and square and took the W, but this is only our first challenge. I think we got a little bit more, test out the influencers, other skills, a lot more to come here at Running Warehouse. <laughs>